after you installed the gas line to your machine, and you can have your machine plugged in at this point if you would like to, you can open the wire door, and you have the spindle where the wire spool mounts and your wire feeder drive mechanism. You have the option on this machine to run either 8-inch spools or 12-inch spools. A 12-inch spool would mount directly into the machine. An 8-inch spool requires a spacer. The way how you would install this is you take this nut off, install the spacer first, have the wire come off at 6 o'clock, and with a friction fit, install the nut to hold the wire in place. Now, this spool is not supposed to freewheel, but you're supposed to be able to move it with one finger. On the inside here is a wire brake mechanism, this cloverleaf looking thing with this flathead screwdriver slot. As you tighten it clockwise, it gets real hard to move the wire. As you turn it counterclockwise, you lose it up. And for steel wire, you don't want it too loose. This would be a good setting for aluminum. For steel wire, you want a little bit drag on there. Then take your wire, open your feeder, and feed the wire through over the drive roll out the front of the machine. Your drive roll, your drive roll pressure should be anywhere between two and three. You can see there is numbers from one through five on here. In order to understand the drive system, let's go through the individual components. The drive roller that feeds the wire sits on the bottom. There's an idler on top, which is typically smooth, and it gets held down by this device and clamps it. It applies pressure with the idler to the drive roll. Now, in order for the wire to be fed correctly, for each type of wire, there is a specific drive roll with a specific groove shape, and there is specific groove sizes for different wire diameters. In our case, we're using O30 wire, which the drive roll for O30 and 35 comes standard with the machine, so you are looking for the numbers 0.8 facing you in order to run O30 wire. Twist it, line it up with the key, put the retention nut on it, clamp it down, the pressure is anywhere between two and three typically. For O23 wire, you would use a drive roll that has 06 stamped in it. For O35 wire, you use a drive roll with the groove stamped 10 facing you. All Propulse drive rolls accommodate two different wire diameters. By flipping the drive roll over, you can switch between the larger and the smaller groove. If you're not sure what groove you're in, it's a dead giveaway, as you can look at the machine right now and read the print on the drive roll, that is the groove that you're in.